everyone welcome to mathematical explorations in this video we are going to discuss about contrafarian tensor contra means opposite and therian means change that means change is opposite when one increases the other decreases or one decreases and the other increases now let us consider a rank 1 tensor that is factor let the displacement be from the point o to capital a on x axis say the component is x on y axis the component is y and on the z axis the component is z along x axis the basis factor is i cap along y axis the basis factor is j cap and along z axis the basis factor is k cap then y factor equal to x i cap plus y z cap plus z k cap which is the displacement factor or position factor from capital o to capital a here i cap z cap k cap are the basis factors and x y z are components of the factor now let us rotate the x y z coordinate system to get the new coordinate system x prime y prime z prime the factor oa will remain the same just we will see the effect in the new coordinate system the basis factor along x prime is i cap prime the basis factor along y prime is j cap prime and the basis factor along z prime is k cap prime then the factor oa is equal to x prime i cap prime plus y prime j cap prime plus z prime k cap prime where x prime y prime and z prime are the components when we change our coordinate system then the component and basis factor also changes in the xyz coordinate system the factor oa equal to x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap but in x prime y prime z prime coordinate system the factor oa equal to x prime i cap prime plus y prime j cap prime plus z prime k cap prime that means components and basis factors will change but the factor and the direction of the factor will remain same on the basis of change of basis factor and components we get two types of factors one is contrafarian and the other is coferian here we will discuss about only contrafarian factor now let us consider two dimensional non orthogonal coordinate system orthogonal means angle between coordinate axes are 90 degree and non orthogonal system means angle between coordinate axes are not 90 degree let us consider the non orthogonal o x1 x2 system and consider a factor oa the basis factor along o x1 is e1 factor and along o x2 is e2 factor then the factor oa can be written as oa a1 e1 plus a2 e2 here we have taken the superscripts or upper suffix to denote the components now let us rotate the x1 x2 coordinate system to get the new coordinate system x1 prime x2 prime the basis factor along o x1 prime is e1 prime and along o x2 prime is e2 prime then the factor oa can be written as oa equal to a1 prime e1 prime plus a2 prime e2 prime now let us increase the length of the basis factor and see the effect on the components of the factor here in this factor 2i the number of components are 2 
Let us now double the length of the basis vector i. Then the vector 2i can be written as 1 into i. But the vector remains same. That means when we increase the length of the basis vector, then the value of the component decreases. So we can write e1 prime equal to 2e1, e2 prime equal to 2e2, and a1 prime is equal to half of a1, a2 prime is equal to half of a2. Then the factor OA can be written as OA equal to a1 prime into e1 prime plus a2 prime into e2 prime. In a contravariant factor, components and basis factors change contrary to each other. We use superscripts to specify the components where the subscripts to specify the basis factors as they change contrary to each other. Now, why to consider non-orthogonal system? If we consider an orthogonal system, then we will get only one type of projection for the factor OA, that is only perpendicular projection. If we consider a non-orthogonal system, then we will get two types of projection for the factor OA, namely perpendicular projection and parallel projection. Here, x upper suffix 1, x upper suffix 2 are contravariant components and x lower suffix 1, x lower suffix 2 are covariant component. Whenever we consider non-orthogonal system, then we will get both contravariant factor and covariant factor. That is why we consider non-orthogonal system. Thank you. See you in the next video.